King Charles III takes first overseas trip since cancer diagnosis. King Charles III has embarked on his first overseas trip since announcing his cancer diagnosis. His Royal Highness visited France for the 80th anniversary of D-Day, his first journey outside of the United Kingdom since announcing his cancer diagnosis in February. Wearing his military dress uniform, King Charles, 75, spoke in French to the assembled crowd in Normandy. Honoring the men and women of the Allied countries who helped to seize France from Nazi Germany in 1944. How fortunate we were, and the entire free world, that a generation of men and women in the United Kingdom and other Allied nations did not flinch. When the moment came to face that test, the royal said. On the beaches of Normandy, on the seas beyond, and in the skies overhead. Our armed forces carried out their duty with a humbling sense of resolve and determination. His Majesty previously served in both the Royal Air Force, RAF, and Royal Navy, and he is currently the Commander-in-Chief of the UK Armed Forces. Charles was accompanied by his wife, Queen Camilla, French President Emmanuel Macron and France's First Lady, his wife, Bridget Macron. The speech brought praise online from many who were impressed at Charles' multilingual abilities. Charles is an intelligent individual. I remember he addressed the German parliament with a speech in German. People sometimes underestimate him, one wrote on X, Twitter.